What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a great day today. Uh, as you can see, I'm sitting in the X3M. Today, I just wanted to make a quick video and address a question I actually get quite often, and that is comparing uh, the X3M to kind of the M white version of the X3M, which is the X3M40. <laughs> As I mentioned on my channel, on the X3M videos, I'm getting the question a lot to compare this to uh, the X3M40 and uh, you know which one somebody should go for or how they compare you know as far as like stiffness and comfort and uh, things like that. And to be honest, I don't really feel comfortable giving that uh, comparison in full without first giving the disclaimer in that I've never driven the X3M40. Now, if there's a BMW dealership that sees this and want to me, hook me up with a X3M40 that I could do a comparison video on it, uh, that'd be great. But anything I say as far as comparisons go is really just going to be a guess based on how, um, you know, what I know about how BMW does their lineup. So like I said, just based on that and kind of the videos I've seen uh, online, uh, my guess is if you're if you're if comfort is a big deal if you're going to be driving on a lot of uh, bad roads and you absolutely are not going to be able to put up with the uh, stiff suspension of the X3M then then I would go ahead and go for the X3M40. I think really that's going to be besides the engine that's going to be the biggest difference between the two. Uh, they're both going to be plenty powerful. This obviously way more power. Uh, but I think the biggest thing you're going to find is just the setup in the suspension and how this is going to feel uh, a lot stiffer than what the X3 M40 does. Now I've also seen comments on the videos too saying that um, maybe the non-run flats on the X3 M might be slightly more comfortable, you know, when you're talking about pobbles and stuff than um, what you would get if you did get um, the run flat tires on the X3M40. And I, I could definitely see that being being the case. That would make a lot of sense to me that the tire would definitely make a difference in the uh, ride comfort. But just, just talking specifically on suspension is, uh, you know, again with the caveat that I haven't driven a X3M40 that this would be stiffer than that. So if comfort is a big uh, deal in your decision making process and you're trying to decide between the two, uh, I would probably stick with the M40. Now for me, when I was um, deciding to buy the X3M, I actually didn't even cross shop it with the X3M40. Um, so I gotta say, I haven't even really uh, spent a lot of time comparing the two uh, when, I was, when I was buying this car. Um, so just a, a heads up there. And I've gotta say the reason I went for this, and maybe some of you guys feel the same way, I know a lot of uh, car enthusiasts do. So if you think like me, uh, we're on the same page. It bothers me if I buy a car and then there's a trim version that sits above the one I get. Because then, and you know, being honest, this probably isn't a healthy way to live. But if that happens and there's a trim level above the one I got, I spend the whole time during, uh, you know, owning this car thinking about, you know, how can I upgrade to the better trim level? So that's why I went through the X3 and uh, specifically with the competition package. Uh, you know, I wanted the most power. I wanted the highest trim level. You know, like I've mentioned over and over in this channel, I always wanted an M car. I've uh, I driven X3 in the past and loved it. So just, you know, full disclosure, when I'm comparing this to the X3 uh, M40, I did not, when I was buying this, I did not, you know, go through and cross shop those two myself. I was only looking at uh, this car. So again, like I said, if, if comfort is a big deal, if you're, you know, if you're buying this for your wife, uh, my wife hates driving the X3M. She's not into uh, performance vehicles. She loves riding in it, but she doesn't want to be uh, driving it just because of, you know, it's, it's really powerful. Uh, the suspension's a little stiff, so uh, it's not, not her jam. It's not going to be the thing that she she picks out if she's just kind of picking out anything to to drive. So that's that's kind of my thoughts, guys, on the comparisons. I I get asked the question a lot, and you know rather than kind of responding to everybody individually, since a lot of people have asked that, I figured I'd just do a video kind of comparing the two. Um, that way, uh, you guys can go back and check this out because I'm sure there'll be a lot more people um, kind of wondering the same thing. 
Uh, so I thought I'd just put this out there and kind of give you guys uh, an overview of um, my thoughts on comparing the X3M with the X3M40. All right, so that's gonna do it for today's video. Hope you guys found this comparison uh, useful. Just kinda wanna get my, my thoughts out there. Like I said, a lot of people have asked this question. If you found the video helpful, be sure and leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel. I've got a couple more videos in the works, uh, definitely an X3M video uh, coming soon, so be on the lookout for that. Guys, as always, appreciate all the support on the channel and thank you for tuning in. I will catch you in the next video. Hello.